in the name of God and prayers and peace be upon the messenger of God before Joseph peace be upon him entered the new stage of trial with the ruler's wife God Almighty gave him the tools of resistance which are in God Almighty's saying and when he reached his maturity we gave him wisdom and knowledge thus we reward the righteous so God gave him the worldly sciences what he learned about the arts of governance from the ruler of Egypt and about the afterlife sciences monotheism and legislation from his father Jacob before these blessings along with benevolence the feeling of God's observation and fear of him enabled Joseph to pass the next test that he faced after his physical and intellectual maturity in the following verse she in whose house he was living tried to seduce him she shut the doors and said come to me there are many signs that we pick up from this sophisticated quranic statement that strives for concealment and chastity and speaks in a sophisticated language that is characterized by transparency and honesty and encourages chastity and decency the first indication is that the woman who wanted to seduce him had authority and was the wife of the ruler the second indication is that she did not like the moral and spiritual side of Joseph peace be upon him but rather wanted the lustful side and Joseph followed the religion of his fathers of monotheism and maintaining prayer and this suggests another indication which is religious freedom as the ruler of Egypt did not force Joseph to convert to his religion but rather left him to practice his religion and belief in the phrase and close the doors which came in the form of exaggeration we understand that she had tried to commit the immoral act several times before but Joseph peace be upon him escaped it but this time she planned tightly to implement her intention to commit the immoral act of adultery so look at the mind of this woman who was overcome by the tendency to lust the phrase come to me means that the woman was prepared for him and after several gestures of looking and winking she said to him come to me in order to obtain what she wants in adultery in the other part of the verse Joseph's answer came he said Allah is my refuge he is my lord he has given me a good home sinners never succeed this is the second time in the surah that we witness the words of Joseph peace be upon him after he narrated the vision at the beginning of the surah to his father now after he fell into the trap of the ruler's wife he said this in response to her offer to him for adultery his saying Allah is my refuge refers to seeking refuge in God almighty and since the time of his father he had learned the beautiful names of God that indicate his holy attributes as for his saying he is my lord the commentators have divided into two possibilities one of them is that it means the ruler of Egypt who favored Joseph and gave him the most honorable position and the highest status in the palace the other possibility is that it means God who created Joseph provided for him took care of him and bestowed blessings upon him the second saying is the most likely and the broadest so Joseph peace be upon him used the doctrine of monotheism instilled in himself since childhood which is consistent with nature and reason and God protected him from falling into sin through the morals of prophecy and the doctrine of monotheism in the phrase sinners never succeed joseph peace be upon him states that engaging in immorality is unjust to the people and to society and as long as it is a reason for not being successful he will not commit it this is a moral lesson on which we must raise our young children and new generations so that they avoid immorality and adhere to chastity and decency